Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, <laughs> wherever you are, whatever time of the day this is that you're watching this. I appreciate you being here, and thank you so much for spending some time. I hope that you are doing well. I hope that uh, you're staying safe, that you're staying healthy. Um, these are unprecedented times. These are challenging times, um, both personally for all of us, uh, you know, physically and, and mentally, I'm sure, as well. Um, and I just hope that you're doing well. I hope that you are doing okay and that you're managing through this. Um, and I hope that your business is doing okay through this as well. Number one, we care about you. We care about making sure that you personally are doing okay. But obviously, number two, um, we are here to help you and guide you through succeeding as a business through this as well. And that's really why we started this whole marketing guided challenge. Um, it started as a 14-day marketing challenge. And I think, well, today is day number 12. Um, and we definitely have way more than just two days left in this. Um, so we've kind of shifted that a little bit. Um, but really, we're just here to try and and guide you guys through it and to give you some uh, some advice, some feedback, some input, some ideas, some inspiration to help you survive and thrive through these difficult times that we're all going through um, as uh, as human beings and as entrepreneurs. So today's conversation is a really, really fun one. It's a really great um, dialogue that I'm having uh, recorded it just the other day with Devin Robinson. <clears throat> now, you might um, know Devin. You might be um, listening to his podcast already. He may be in his Facebook group. He's got an amazing community as well, um, helping photographers, again, just like you run successful photography businesses. Um, and I actually interviewed Devin not long ago on our podcast. Now, if you're not... If you're if you're not subscribed to our podcast, we'd love to get you over there because now is a great time to go through our backlog and and you know catch up on everything. Um, but if you go into your podcast app and if you search for business of photography, there we are right there. Oh, that's Andrew. He's a great guy too. Listen to his podcast. I love Andrew. And there's our podcast right there. We've been going for five, well, yeah, five years now right there, 2015. Um, so go and subscribe to that. If you're not already in that, would love to have you in that and listening. And I did interview Devin Robinson about Instagram marketing um, not too long ago. Um, you can also listen, by the way, to our podcast over on our website. So if you go to getsproutstudio.com and then click community and then podcast in the top, um, then you can <clears throat> you can listen over there. You can listen on the web. So while you're doing your thing on the computer, um, you can listen. <laughs> you can have Brian in every one of your ears, right? Like you got us here on the on the live. You can have the podcast. I mean, uh, again, we we're just all about giving you value and making sure that you can again thrive and survive through all of this. So uh, the podcast is just another way. Hey, we got Kevin in the house. How you guys doing? Say hello. Let me know that you're there. Let me know that you're watching. And I'm, again, not just talking to the corner of my room over here. Um, would love to just to say hello to you guys quickly before I roll that interview with Devin. Um, so, you know, one of the things, and, and I talk about this in, in the interview with Devin, but one of the things um, that is so um, kind of scary right now for us as photographers um, is this idea, uh, hey, Sarah, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Um, it's scary for us because, you know, you might think that now, um, hey, Charlie Vandersloos. How are you doing, Charlie? Long time no see. I hope that you're doing well. Charlie's a photographer. You've been in, here in Niagara for, Charlie, I don't know how many years. Maybe you can tell me here in the comments. 35, 40 years, maybe more. Um, huge icon here in the Niagara photography industry. So, Charlie, thank you for joining uh, Eric is here with us. Hey, good morning, Eric. How you doing? Billy is in the house again. Good morning, Billy. Len is here. Wayne is here. Good morning, Wayne. Good morning, Len. You guys, I can say good morning to you guys because you're all here with me right now. Anyone else that's watching the replay, I don't know when you're watching. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching. Um, leads. We're going to talk about leads, okay? So right now, it may not be intuitively obvious for us to be thinking about how can I generate leads right now? Because obviously, these are trying times. These are very difficult times. Um, is now the right time to be thinking about that? And in the conversation that I had with Devin, um, you know, I initially set up the interview when we started this series, and I said, Devin, I got to get you on the, I got to get you on this, on this, the live series, because I know that you've got some rock solid strategies for building relationships with folks, especially through Instagram and through social media. Um, 
and I said, let's get you on. And uh, and we kind of just took the interview completely unscripted, like like we do with, all, again, this is all ad hoc. We're flying by the seat of our pants with all this stuff. And I loved the way that the dialogue went. And, and the conversation that we really ultimately had was there's no reason not to be doing these tactics and these strategies right now. And so I want to roll that interview. I'm going to transition over the interview right now because I want you to listen to it. And as you're listening, as you're watching, um, feel free to throw questions at us or at me. Devin's not here live, but of course, um, I'll try and answer the questions for him. Um, and then at the end, I'll come back and and we can kind of do a bit of a roundup and see if we need to go any further on any of those topics. So I'm going to roll that interview now with Devin Robinson, and I will see you, the live version of Brian, we'll see you on the other side of this. It. Cool. All right. So um, let's start through through these tough times. Um, right now, one of the things that so many photographers are um, talking about is that they're losing all this money, they're losing all this revenue, and they're basically saying, "I need to cut my business. I need to cut my expenses. I need to. I, I don't know where money's coming from." Yet here you are sitting at the other side of the table saying, "Like I can't handle all the leads that I'm getting." So what what are you doing differently that other photographers need to be paying attention to? Yeah, I think that's a great thing. I think it's a mixture between a couple different things. I think, um, honestly, psychologically for me, I have to understand that like, okay, this can be a make, I have two salaried employees. Um, and then I have like four other people that are part time for me. And then I have some contracted. So I'm like, I can't afford to just sit around and do nothing. And so then I, that means that I have to at all costs or at all, uh, whatever I need to do, I need to make sure that I'm doubling down on my marketing mm -hmm. than I used to do. So instead of just sitting down, sitting back and going, what should I do? I do more of what I was previously doing. And so for me, that does mean that, okay, so I'm spending a little bit more time honing in um, either my Instagram strategy that we've talked about previously. Um, but one thing that I decided to do, and usually I do it once a year, last year I did it. Um, and then last year I did it and I got a good number of leads from it. And this year I've done it and it's like, exponentially more leads already and I'm three days into it, which is crazy. But this year what I decided to do was um, to do a engagement session and it's not and this is, you have to be so strategic about it. You have to be so specific about it because this is not a tag your friend in this post mm -hmm. and that counts as your entry. Like, no, I want to make sure that I get all of the information from that person. So I actually created a page with a pixel on it and they have to go through a process to be able to go into, um, to get this giveaway. And so on the giveaway and you guys, uh, you guys can go to it if you want. And then please also go to the <laughs> exit page so you don't take my ads. Yeah. But um, it is sessiongiveaway.anchorandvelphotography.com. And if you do go there, go to sessiongiveaway.anchorandvelphotography.com backslash thank dash you so that um, so that it it my pixel marks you as a conversion so you no longer get my um, get my uh, my retargets. But essentially what, what, what I'm, I'm doing do is too, uh, just just so you know is I in the Facebook live version of this if you're watching the facebook live version of this if you're listening to the podcast we also have a video version of this that's going live um i'm gonna demo what what you just talked about in the live as well so if you're watching sweet. you probably appreciate have it. already seen what devin's doing just so you know <laughs> yeah sweet okay cool i appreciate that um okay so so yes in that as well i um so it's very specific i'm asking for their name their phone numbers their email address where they are getting married um and then also i'm asking if they have a photographer and if they're interested in chatting with us. And those are really important metrics to ask for uh, because I want to turn these people into leads. Full disclosure, Brian, um, this is not a session giveaway. I am going to pick the people that win this giveaway. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll sift down for my target mm -hmm. audience, right? Like I want the people that get this giveaway to be my target audience yeah. that I know is going to benefit me in the long run. And so the winner, the winners are most likely going to be a pool from people that look like act like shop like whatever my target audience and then their friends are the same thing as my target audience so those are the three people i have i'm giving away three engagement sessions mm -hmm. because i have multiple photographers but when i just had myself i gave away one or two so you could totally do that but essentially i said in light of all the craziness going on in this world today i want to be able to give some hope i want to make some people smile i want to give away something amazing um it, to help you with plan to help alleviate the stress of planning your your wedding and so i'm giving away three engagement sessions um just for you 
and then go to this link to enter. It says very specific things. You have to be getting married in 2020 or 2021. You have to be engaged. Um, and then the people that say they already have a photographer and don't want to talk to me, sorry, you are not winning this contest <laughs> um, because I, I essentially want the person that wins to book me for their wedding, right? right? And right. so um, it's been so cool because I started this on Saturday. It is now Monday. I have 105 entries into this and, uh, and 69 of them say that they want to talk to me more about their wedding. So essentially in three days, I got 70 leads, yeah. right? Like se 70 in a time, like literally in the, in the midst of Corona craziness, I got 70 leads in there for Jamaica and Cancun and Vegas and all of these awesome places. So some of you guys out there are just hoping for leads to come in so that you can work with them into your butt or you can work into their budget so that you can get paid. Mm -hmm. I've got 70 people coming to me and I got the pick of the litter where I want to go. And if I want to work with them, then I'm going to work with them and go to their wedding. And so it's amazing to be able to do this. Now, if I break down the numbers for you, Brian, um, this is going to be a 30-day giveaway. I'm on day three right now, uh, and I will say 22 people have come from the ads. So about 25 people have come from my ads. Um, and so that means about 75 have come organically mm -hmm. from posting on, I, this is the structure I posted on my stories. Uh, and then I had to swipe up because I have that feature. You could just go link in the bio, post it on my stories about it. And then I posted, um, and then I posted on my Facebook page, business page, and then shared that personally. And then the next day I posted on my feed. Uh, and then uh, and then I had people tag their friends, not because it's going to get them more entries, but I said, tag your friends for this. And then I start implementing my Instagram strategy. When people tag their friends, I follow their friends. I begin engaging with them. I even DM them and say, if they don't enter, I DM them and say, here's the giveaway, just in case you didn't see it. Yeah. So then now, Brian, on the back end of that, what ends up happening with this giveaway away is they are going to enter into an auto email automation where about once a week they are getting value into their um, their their inboxes on helping to plan their wedding from family photos to an engagement session to all of these things and so they are I'm continually top of mind once a week for the next three four or five months whatever they're at least once a week seeing my brand. So when it comes down to it, if they still haven't hired me, there's been enough trust built up that they will most likely, I will be the one they hire because they've seen my work over and over. They've read about my expertise over and over. I've helped them. And so I'm building up as a brand in their mind. I'm elevating myself above everybody else. So this isn't just a tag your friends kind of giveaway. This is deep, right? Like this goes deep. And yeah. this, and that's the important part of doing this is making sure that it's not just a tag your friends kind of giveaway. Well, um, the thing so that yeah. I love too about this is like this is um, – this is a this is hustle style marketing, right? This is hustle style selling. This is like you are hitting the pavement, you are working hard, you are reaching out, you are DMing. I know that Devin, you said that you're doing bonjoros for everybody that enters. I know we've talked yep. a lot about bonjoros in the Facebook Live part of this, or in the in the 14 day marketing challenge. We love bonjoros. You're doing. I mean, it's yeah, it's work, but right now, if you're talking to photographers in this crisis time where you're housebound and you're not able to go and do sessions and make money and have meetings, now is the time to be doing those kinds of things because all you have is time. That's right. And so essentially the people here, – here's honestly how it goes. The people that say that they are not interested in having me book them, they just – Sorry about it. Bye, Felicia. And then the people that do, I put them into my, my CRM, right? I put them into Tave. So these people are going into a spreadsheet. Yeah. And then I put them into Tave if they say they are interested. Then I start s treating them like they're a lead because essentially they said that they want to be a lead mm -hmm. and treated as such. And so then I do. I send them um, – I send them – my emails that I send within Tave, and then I will go ahead and then send them a bonjuro, and then I'm going to follow up with text man. I'm going to do all this to all seven people so far, uh, and so it is a lot of work, man. There's there's no doubt about it. But I mean, if 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 you look, listen, if 10% of 70 book me, that's seven people that I booked yeah. from three days of of work, you know. And so I think that's a really really big deal. And if you can continue to give value, then hopefully more than 10% of those people are going to book you, especially if you're willing to work within whatever budget that they say they have. Now we are. I mean, we are higher end, and so some of these people aren't going to be able to, but uh, I do have other photographers that can make it easier for me to be able to do that. But then I also can build um, build my relationships within the industry by pushing them to people within the industry that also are struggling like me, but during this hard time, I'm sending them a bunch of leads. Yeah.
Well, I mean, at the end of the day, too, like, um, and this is an interesting conversation, again, in this season that we are all as a, as a, as a human species are going through right now, um, our expectations, I think, on income, even to an extent, have shifted through this. Because previously, where a photographer may have had a certain, you know, we call it a get out of bed price, um, that perhaps has shifted a little bit as bookings have dropped out, as weddings has canceled, as as our income has shifted, all of a sudden, you know, that, that you know, opportunity over there that you may have otherwise said no to when things were busy, now might be a good time to say yes to it. So it's not a horrible time to diversify not only what you're doing, but also sort of the price range that you're offering your services at. And, and that's, you know, food for thought. Everyone's in a different personal and financial situation, but that's definitely something to be considering during this time. Look, there's no doubt about it. I've seen so many Facebook message, like like messages and posts that it's no longer a get out of bed price. Yeah. It's a I'm trying to keep my bread, yeah. my bed price. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 100%. Like where it's like and it's like, look, guys, these leads are coming in the door and you need retainers. Yeah. And so how much are you willing to work for those retainers mm. depending on how many how many leads are you are, can you get? Yeah. So Devin, like right now, again, photographers, let's say we're going to link up the last podcast that we just did because it actually just came out a couple weeks ago. Um, so we're going to link that up because you go into a lot more of the background on the strategy that you teach for Instagram. And I know that you, since then you've actually launched your course too. So we're going to link all that up um, in the show notes as well as in the in the comments for this video. But for photographers that are sitting at home right now and they're looking to generate this revenue, that's sort of what we're doing in this 14-day marketing challenge is to give them some ideas to generate this revenue. Obviously, so far we've talked about here's how you can get the leads here's how you can nurture them here's how you hustle here's how you tag here's how you dm like you go through this whole process let's say that photographers haven't done the work that you've done up front to have those people to dm from the outset to say hey i want to do this giveaway here's where you can go to do it what would a photographer do if they were starting from scratch let's say they had a thousand or two thousand people on instagram so far and they haven't implemented the whole pre-strategy what would you have them do right now yeah this is great if you're doing an engagement session giveaway what i would do 100 percent is go on to instagram and i would go to location services and i would go to bridal shops because mm. people are getting their dresses still and they're doing all those things and then the people that the bridal shops tag you can actually go in and if they look like they don't have engagement sessions already like they don't have engagement session photos or a photographer i would dm them and say hey oh my gosh i saw um i was looking at this bridal shops and get uh Instagram and saw you just got your dress. First of all, congratulations on finding your dream dress. You're going to be absolutely gorgeous. Um, also, I have I'm doing I'm currently running an engagement session giveaway where I'm giving away a free session just in the midst of this crisis and this craziness. I want to be able to serve you guys. Here's where you can go and enter in that in, which is awesome. And then you better have it be a landing page with a pixel attached to it mm -hmm. so that you can capture their information. So then later you can retarget them with reviews. You can retarget them with all types of stuff. Um, but yeah, like so I would I would do location services venues um like wedding venues once they book their venue a lot of people say oh so amazing uh can't wait to be here in 462 days and 188 you know whatever um and so go on the venues look up people that are tagging that they just got engaged or they just booked their venue look up sorry close the door look up people that are um that are tagging or like location tagging their the bridal shops, all of those things. And then even for us, now there's not a lot of people going to athletic events right now. Mm. Actually, I don't think anybody yeah, is. No. Um, but, but yeah, no. but like, but there are people like if you, one of my favorite, honestly, one of my favorite places is to look at like Bank of America Stadium and then go through and look for my target audience on Bank of America Stadium. And if they're with a boy or like they're with a, it looks like they're with a, with a, a guy in that photo, then check to see if they're engaged. And if they're engaged, reach out and do it. Like it's like, Honestly, it is the work of finding, yeah. going out and finding people. And it's okay. People think it's so weird or sketchy to slide into DMs, but it, it just, it's not anymore. It used to be, I do it 50 times a day. Like it just really, and I'm a guy. Okay. So people who are like, but I'm a guy doing this. So it's okay. So am I. And so, um, they're just, there's so many. There, like there's so many ways to go out and find that target audience. If you've done an avatar, like you found your avatar, then you know where they go out to the clubs you or to the bars and, and drink or hang out or you know where their social life is. So you should be able to go to those locations on Instagram and then be able to find them through that way. And that's like the number one way that I go and find my target audience. Yeah, I love that. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on the spot, Devin. I'm gonna throw you another curveball or a curveball and yes. say, so let's say that you're not a wedding photographer watching this right now, because we do speak to a lot of portrait photographers as well, newborn, maternity, 
boudoir, family, things like that, um, th- throw a version or throw some suggestions as it relates to to this this whole concept, this whole strategy. How can they take something away from this conversation, or what are, what are the small tilts that they need on this? So perfect. I love that, man. So any the, the same exact thing applies. You just aren't you just aren't giving away an engagement session. Yeah. You're giving away a portrait session and you go and you've twisted it or you you shift it and you go, in the midst of this crazy time, either either you talk about this and you hit this point, you can. We realize how fragile our relationships is and how and and uh, and then we realize how close we or how much we need each other or how important photographs are in times like this. I'm giving away three photo sessions to amazing families or anything like that. And then wherever, like you know where your family, if if little if little Jimmy goes to swim lessons here, then mom is most likely taking a photo of little Jimmy outside of um, you know, the place that the swim lessons are are held or things like that. And so I think location service still apply here um, because you know where that target audience goes. If it's honestly, and here's the thing, honestly. Honestly, if it's high school students, now you have to be really, um, really cautious when you're going with underaged people. Mm-hmm. But you have to. But but the one thing I say is, it's still not off limits. Your Instagram profile, though, has to reflect that that is your target audience. Right. If I'm a wedding photographer going and searching location tags for a high school, that's weird. Mm. But if I'm a senior portrait photographer doing location services at a high school, then that's completely okay, and and it's a little bit more ethical. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's sure. not as weird. So I think location services still win over hashtags and things like that because it's way more defined and way more specific and uh and it, you can also use it within a relative amount of time so you can click on recents mm. in your location service and see who the most when the most recent posts are uh, you have popular and recents so you can hit up any as long as you know where your target audience goes and shops and um and does social activities or goes to school or things like that then you are 100 percent still like location service wins every time over hashtags i think no that's why i don't even really teach hashtags because i dive into location services and so that's where i think like it's not necessarily a curveball because like it's just the same True. exact thing. Yeah. It's just it's just now to where your niche is. And I think that's that's the most important part. For sure. No, and I appreciate that. I just know I know a lot of the times when we talk just about weddings, we've got the photographers that are like, What about me? I'm not a wedding photographer. And I wanted to make sure that we said like the strategy still applies, just shift who you're looking for. That's all. Hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. I love it. I, lo- I love curveballs, man. Yeah. I was so excited. <laughs> like that's not a curveball. Come on. Uh, cool. Devin, <laughs> thank you so much. I'm, we're gonna link up uh, everything that you do. You've got an amazing Facebook community and a Facebook group that you're that you run. Gonna link that up here in the okay. show notes and on the Facebook Live. Uh, same thing with your class, the course that you launched. I know that that's uh, that was recent. So uh, and you it was te- recent, you but it's closed lo- now. Oh, it's closed now. Okay, well then, sorry, we're yeah, not we're not gonna now. we're not gonna teach that anymore. Then. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I mean, right. I know you've got a ton of resources for photographers, so we're gonna link that all up in the show notes for this. And I appreciate if- your time here. Yeah, if they are interested, uh, they could still go to the the course page, and then like in about six months when I open it back up, I'll pixel them. Okay, so it's cool. twpmasterclass.com. Sweet, <laughs> good stuff, Devin. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, thank you, Brian. I appreciate all you're doing for our industry, man. And stop. Hey, and welcome back to the live version of me. Hope that you enjoyed that conversation uh, with Devin. Um, you know, really, really insightful ideas and some really, really cool ways that you can be taking advantage of social media and building relationships and then using that for lead gen, even now during these difficult times. Um, one of the things that I want to point you to, and I'm actually going to share my screen here for a minute. I hope this shares the right screen. Let's see. There we are. Okay. So this is the podcast. Um, again, I, I do recommend that you listen to that interview that I did with Devin, the last episode that I did with him. Um, If you search again for Business of Photography, this is our podcast. You can see all the episodes that we have. Guys, we're on episode 426, um, which is like, it's just mind blowing. Like I can't believe that we're almost at half of a thousand. Anyways, that's like so much value, so much strategy, so much, so many strategies for you over in this podcast. So like hop in, dig in, dive in, start listening. Um, If you go down this episode, 414 right here and we just dive into like his exact strategy on how he builds these relationships connects with folks and and you know does all of that that whole strategy that he just sort of like just just skimmed over um in in that live there um we go into that he goes into that in incredible depth in this podcast episode so go and check it out because 
it is massively, massively valuable. If you don't want to listen, I mean, you can listen in Stitcher, you can listen in the podcast app, you can listen to in Google Play, uh, on Spotify, like we're pretty much everywhere in terms of the podcast apps. Um, but if you want to just listen to it on the web, if you go to getsproutstudio.com slash 414, episode 414, uh, and I believe that Drew is actually watching this live right now, and Drew, if you are watching this live, do me a favor and just pop that link into the comments below so folks can just click that link and do it. Um, but you can listen to it right here, so you can kind of get all the show notes, uh, and you click the play button right here, and there it is. I don't think that's playing. No, it's not playing for you guys. Anyways, um, you can play and you can listen to the whole thing right there. And then, of course, all the links that we mentioned right here. Um, if you want to use this as a way to sort of go and subscribe, there's the links to subscribe. There's our social. By the way, if you're not following us on Instagram, get on over there and come connect on Instagram. We're doing all kinds of crazy posts all the time. Again, just trying to give you value, value, value in as many ways as we possibly can. And uh, there are some quick links for you to come and follow us on Instagram. It's Get Sprout Studio is our name on Instagram. So guys, that's it. I'm going to wrap up today's episode a little bit sooner. Um, I hope that you don't mind. Yesterday's and the last few days have been like an hour long. And so I wanted this one to be a little bit more digestible. But I hope that you, uh, there's the link, by the way. I know that I'm behind from what you're seeing, but the link is there now. So you can click the link, getsproutstudio.com slash 414 to go and listen to the interview with Devin. Um, dive into that. And while you're on that page, um, feel free to get lost. And I'll see you in three months from now when you're done listening to all the backlog of episodes. Um, but again, feel free to listen to as much of that stuff as you'd like. That's a great strategy. Again, a great way. We're now in this this part of the marketing challenge where we're just going to be throwing ideas at you in terms of different ways that you can earn revenue, different ways that you can make money and book more clients during these difficult times. So we did a lot of work in the early days of this program on your foundation, your website, your Instagram, your Facebook, your your content, uh, all those kinds of things. And now we're just like every day going to be throwing new ideas at you to kind of give you ideas as to how you can earn some more money, how you can book some more clients, and how you can get out of uh, the potential slump or the potential you know, lowered cash flow that you might be seeing because of the circumstances right now. And that's what we're doing. And that's why we're trying to help you right now. So um, dive into that episode, that podcast episode, fantastic content. I hope that you enjoyed this, um, this, I guess, episode streaming series live thing. Um, if you're not already um, in the email program for this, every afternoon we email you basically a whole bunch of notes from this. So you don't have to try and frantically take notes. Uh, let me actually let me um, point that out to you. Hang on one second here. There we are. Let me share my screen. There it is. So if you go to get Spro well, hey, look at this. What, what am I doing? You've got the link right here. Where are we? Where are we? Over here? Nope. This hand. There it is. <laughs> this is the link right here. So getsproutstudio.com slash first aid. If you go to that link, let me show you now what you're going to see. This is what you're going to see. This is a page that we made um, exclusively for all of these crisis efforts that we're trying to help you with. So again, we've got a whole bunch of links available for you there. We have a whole bunch of articles for you available there. Um, again, like just a ton of resources that we're and we're literally updating this every single day. So um, please come here and check back and bookmark it and come back as often as you'd like. Um, but if you put your email address right here, then you will get um, a reminder every single morning before we go live with a link to this live broadcast. So I go live here at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time in the morning. So you'll get a reminder with a link to this broadcast. And then in the afternoon, every single day of the week, you will get a full transcription as well as a link for the replay video if you want to watch this back afterwards. So do encourage you to hop in there, drop your email address, and um, stay in the loop with these things. Otherwise, again, I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. Um, I hope that you are doing well. I hope that you are staying safe. I hope that you are staying healthy. I hope that you are able to survive through this and that you are working on your business and making some positive changes. And I hope um, if in some way this this video series helps one of you, um, you know, 
uh, avoid having to go bankrupt or avoid having to to give up your photography business, then I consider everything we're doing to be a massive success if I can help one of you guys. And I hope that I can help more than just one of you through this. So thank you again so much. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.